Hello, my name is Raj Chako. I am a solutions consultant for Cisco Systems. Today I would like to demonstrate how to install and configure InterCloud Fabric for business. So I have two domains um, with regards to my um, two clusters in, in uh, my lab here. One cluster is what I would call a management cluster which has one single host and a handful of VMs that I've already spun up. And then my second cluster is uh, what I would call my, uh, my lab cluster where I would have a handful of VMs that I would want to m migrate to the public cloud or bring back from public cloud. Um, this would be a, a setup very similar to a let's say a production environment so here to the left is my management and this is would be this would be a production cluster so the first steps is obviously you have to go and download from CCO the code uh, for intercloud fabric once you have downloaded it you are able to deploy um, the OVF template and uh, when you download the file, it comes down as a zip file which you have to unzip. When you unzip it, you will actually see a handful of different files. One would be the InnerCloud Fabric OVA, and then underneath this, you will see a handful of other files. So the version is InnerCloud Fabric uh, 211A. So we will be going and uh, we will be demonstrating the installation of. 211A. Now this requires, this has some certain requirements in terms of the vCPU and the memory recommendations so we want to make sure that we adhere to those. Uh, I'll accept the uh, EULA and uh, I'll give it a name. I'll call it uh, ICFD uh, Business. And I will leave it as uh, thick provisioned. Yeah. And then the network that I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick uh, my management network. So I have created a couple of VLANs here, or port profiles in my cluster here. The management port profile is management VLAN is 20. And the host name we will leave as ICFD business and this would be your root password so you are allowed to log in as root into the VM if you need to uh, management IP address so I will pick uh, dot two subnet mask a domain name and my DNS IP Okay, and I'm gonna power on after deployment. Uh, looks, take a look at all these things, and let's go for it. All right, so the in, the installation is up, um, is completed, and the VM is up and running. So at this point, I can actually point my browser to uh, uh, this IP address that I had used. So I'm gonna open my trusted Google Chrome browser and uh, go to my ICF director account. I'm going to log in as admin. So the first step is to definitely add a license. So uh, there are a couple of ways of doing a license. You can actually manually type it in if you want here or you can browse to your license file and uh, upload uh, submit okay so once the license is installed now I can do various different things first thing I want to do is I want to stand up my infrastructure components so I will click on our cloud click on infrastructure and hit setup now this is all wizard based so I'm gonna have to first enter my cloud admin password and the VM manager so 
right now I don't have any VM managers associated with it so I'm gonna have to tie VM managers. I'm gonna f connect to my management VM and uh, what I'm setting up here is I am basically allowing connectivity to my vCenter uh, I'm gonna first do my management cluster and the later time I'm gonna add the uh, the, the production cluster that I showed you earlier so server 1.0.16.20.19 cluster okay let's see if this works and you will immediately get a result if it if it didn't if it, the valid the credentials were not valid you wouldn't see this so now I have my cluster here and as soon as I point my cluster I, it will actually pull the cluster and bring all the information there now I don't have a PNSC already configured otherwise I would have seen a PNSC here I could have pointed to a PNSC but since I'm creating a new PNSC I'm gonna uh, set up that basically PNSC allows you uh, to do a couple of things the it stands for prime network services controller it's actually your VSG and CSR management point as well as your policy enforcement and uh, image repository image conversion and all of that happens on PNSC so the host name I want to give it is uh, PNSC uh, business So the admin password I've already inserted here. The shared secret is something different. Shared secret is what is used to communicate between PNSC and uh, VSM. So already. All right. Now here, what what is asking the next step is that for the management devices, it needs to. Pro we need to provide a set of IP addresses so since I haven't created any pools let's go ahead and create a pool and I'm gonna call it uh, management pool policy and I'll create a set of IP addresses in the management range here so my management VLAN is 1.7.16.20 and I'm gonna create a pool from 30 to 1.7.16.20.40 my mask, my gateway, and my VLAN. So this set of IP addresses is going to be used for a variety of things. All the management devices, for example, PNSC, my VSM, my inner cloud switch, my inner cloud extender, those will all be pulled from this pool of IP addresses from here. And I'm going to pull that up here. And the device profile basically it's uh, the device profile consists of a few items which are right here that, that I'm circling here a uh, you know provides you with uh, basically your DNS name your time zone you know if you need to point a to a syslog server or your uh, and then a NTP server so I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it a management MGMT uh, device profile because I, I, I want to be able to use it again um, because every time I need to use this same kind of setup I will you pull this device profile DNS I'm gonna external DNS and uh, I think I used I'm gonna use the same domain name that I used earlier uh, and my time zone I'm gonna pick my time zone here and now that that will build uh, this will build this policy uh, called and uh, the profile called management device profile all right now where do I want to put my PNSC where do you want to stand up my my inst instantiate my my management devices so I'm gonna pull it um, on my cluster that I had provisioned earlier and I'm gonna put it on my management VLAN now you're if you're wondering where does this come from this is actually pulling the information from vCenter uh, a second ago if you recall I I set up the vCenter connection this is all the information from the vCenter so my host and I will show you that on my vCenter screen here uh, as you can see 
this is my uh, it says Raj management that is my that is my organization and this, the, the cluster that I'm using and that's 20.15 is IP address right and if you look at all the network configuration you will see that these are all my VLANs, VLAN 20 is my management that's where I'm putting a lot of stuff all right let's go back to where we were and then obviously you have to have a data store with enough capacity you know if you want to enable redundancy you can check this box and all of a sudden you have the high availability option that comes up which means you can actually deploy your VSM in HA pair on different hosts but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that and uh, now this is where the second large upload needs to be done now when you zipped I um, when you unzip that OV, the the downloaded file from CCO like I said it actually unzips into two different large files one is the OVF and the second is a very large file a tar file that we need to point to so I uh, now I've I've come to the the folder where I had unzipped everything so here's the IZF folder once you unzip it uh, obviously you get the OVF file this is what we used a minute ago to build to do you know run the setup uh, of inner cloud fabric and now uh, this is that large tar file about four gigabytes plus that we need to import what this tar file contains is a handful of OVF files it actually contains your PNSC image, your CSR image, your VSG image, and uh, ICX, ICA, ICS images. So those are all infrastructure images that that gets uploaded. Once you upload it, obviously now you have the ability to start your connection on to Amazon or Azure from Intercloud Fabric Director. And now I'll hit submit. Uh, and again, everything that you do on Inner Cloud Fabric Director, you have the ability to go into s uh, organizations and service requests and monitor what is going on with every request that you make. So pretty much every process goes through a, a workflow and you can monitor the workflow by going into under organizations and uh, service requests. So, there are four tabs that you have you can use to monitor different things one obviously is the the overarching view of all the different things that are going on which basically uh, is a high level of uh, the various tasks and if you click on the log it will actually take you to a detailed log of all the different things that are happening real time uh, you just have to hit refresh to see the the updates that are going on uh, with this particular task here and it's pretty interesting to monitor this because it's very verbose the highlighted items uh, are the bigger items and then you it will actually show you all the steps that are happening in between as well as you can see here it will give you a timestamp on when this uh, got kick started and will also give you an end time when this finished and all the different high level tasks that went through um, th this process while this is happening we we can also take a look at the uh, vSphere client and monitor what else what else is going on here because what you will see is that the first step you know we have as you can know we have already deployed this this was the first step and now we are deploying the infrastructure components which includes two big things two big items one would be PNSC which would be another VM that will get spun up and the second would be the uh, VSM the inner cloud fabric VSM which is the uh, supervisor for the line card or for the uh, inner cloud switch that, it, that would be pushed out on the public cloud so those two VMs will get spun up uh, as part of uh, this this workflow right now it's extracting this tar file so as you can imagine there's a 4 gig tar file uh, and it might take some time to extract it once the extraction is complete it will start the deployment process of uh, ESG and PNSC okay I'm doing a refresh on it and uh, as we can see we have already untarred it and uh, the PNSC image 3.3.1d OVF file is being deployed and the PNSC OVF is being uh, being deployed and we can actually monitor that here see as you can see the uh, OVF template is being deployed and uh, in a few minutes we'll have our PNSC the first machine stood up 
and once BNSC is up, we will see that the next machine will be the BSM, Inner Cloud Fabric BSM that's going to be stood up. Okay, looks like BNSC is up and running. This IP address got pulled from the pool that I had created earlier. Typically, you don't have to come to PNSC to do much configuration. Pretty much all of this stuff happens from ICFD, except for your policy management and you know for your uh, if you want to build a VSG and uh, create policies for it, uh, or if you want to do a CSR, etc. Uh, I'm going to do something called Show Inter Cloud, uh, which will op open up another tab here for me. So if I do that. What you will see is uh, um, it will pop up this new tab here, Inner Cloud Management, and now I'm able to get some more visibility into what's going on from the Inner Cloud Fabric standpoint. So uh, this is just a trick that that I wanted to show you guys here. And right now there is nothing here, but as soon as uh, we connect to Amazon, you will see there is a new VPC come up here. Um, and connect you to Amazon, etc. Right now, it's all empty. All right, now as we can see, it has moved on to setting up the ICF VSM, which is Inner Cloud Fabrics Virtual Supervisor module for uh, the management of the VAM that would sit on the ICX and the ICS. Alright, I'll be back in a minute here, but uh, real quickly I'll jump on to see what's going on here. Yep, the VSM has been deployed. As you can see, there's a new VSM up here, and it's powering on the VSM. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, looks like the workflow has completed here, and as you can see, it gave me a completed flag. Um, so, the infrastructure components have been installed. Um, now, of course, PNSC uh, and CSM and PNSC have been registered.